Hi, welcome to our channel. This is Teacher Samson presenting to you school-based assessment. Grade 7 mathematics that was done by the learners is a neck examination revision lesson. Welcome, sit back, and let us revise together. Question 1. A cooperative society exported 92,138,042 bags of rice in a certain year. Round off the number of bags of rice exported to the nearest hundreds of millions. So we have 92,138,042 bags to be rounded off to the nearest hundreds of millions this is one mark so general knowledge here is strong digits is five six seven eight nine they give an addition of one to the left and weak digits zero one two three four do not give any and an addition to the left instead they just become zero so our working is here let me write the number this is 92,138,042. So we start from the right, moving to the left. This is ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions, tens of millions. Let's put a zero here. This will be our hundreds of millions. So now, we look at nine. Is it a strong digit? Let us check. Yes. So if it is a strong digit, then you cancel it and carry one to the hundreds of millions column. So you add it there. It becomes one. Then you make the others zeros. So the correct answer should be Okay, thank you. Question number two. The number of trees planted in a county were 15,932,008. How many times is the total value of digit 9 greater than the total value of digit 2? So the working, let me organize myself here. So we have total value. This is 15,932,008. This is once. So total value of 8 is 8. This is 0. This is 0, 0, which is 0. And this is 2,000. And this is 3, 30,000. And this is 900,000. Now, how many times, how many times is the total value of digit 9 greater than? So how many times here is division? So which number are we going to divide? So divide 900,000, divide by, divide by 2,000. So 900,000 over 2,000. Then let us simplify 0, 0, 0, then by 2, 1 by 2 450 so the correct answer is 450 next question question 3 the floor or the floor of an office is in the shape of a square the floor was covered with 400 square tiles each of side 30 centimeters determine the length of one side of the floor so uh, covered with 400 400 square tiles so each square so tile each side of the square tile is that centimeters so if the floor was square was a square 
and all the tiles used were 400. Then look for the square root of 400. The result is the number of tiles in one side of the floor. So square root of 400 is 20. So it means that this room was covered with 20 tiles on one side and the other side 20 tiles. So the product gave us 400, 400 tiles. So it was 20 by 20. That is tiles per side. Now, now, since we have seen that one side of the floor was covered by 20 square tiles and each side of the square tile was 30, then to get the measure of the side of the floor is the product of the number of squares that is square tiles which is 20 and the you multiply by side which is 30 centimeters so each square tile has a side of that centimeter and there are 20 of them so if there are 20 of them the product will give us the measure of one side of the floor so 20 times 30 is 600 centimeters so the room was 600 centimeters or six meters correct uh, or you say area of the floor is the number of tiles used times area of each tile so number of tiles here is 400 you multiply by 30 uh, you multiply by the area of one tile and the area of one tile is that times 30 so it will give you 360,000 360, square centimeters. That was the area of, of the floor. Then we know it was a square. So if it was a square, then you look for square root to get one side. So the square root of 360,000 centimeters squared is 600 centimeters. Question 4. A group of learners were given 66 mangoes and 114 oranges to share. Find the greatest number of learners that would share both types of fruits equally. So this is an egg assessment for grade 7. So let me organize myself here. So skills here is to look for GCD or the highest common factor. So, GCD of 66 and 114. I draw my table here. So, 2 can divide 66 and also 114. So, 66 divided by 2 is 33 and 114 divided by 2 is 57. Then I divide again. This one can go by 3. 2 cannot help anymore. So, by 3, I want to get 11. By 3, I get, I get uh, 19. Since 11 and 19 have no common divisors or factors, then stop your division process there. Stanley? The GCD of 66 and 114 is... One point. Check it. You say it is the product of the factors. That is 2 and 3. Which is 6. And that is the answer. Wow. Or you can say, write the factors of 66 and the factors of 114. So 66 is like 2 times 3 times 11. That is product of its prime numbers or prime factors. That is 2 times 3 times 11. So for 114 is 2 times 3 times 19. So the common here is 2 times 3 is common, both of them. So 2 times 3 is 6. Next, a butcher had 18.75 kilograms of meat. He cut the meat into 25 portions of equal mass. The price of 1 kg of meat was 520 Kenya shillings. What was the price of each portion? So here, uh, basic multiplication is required here and also division facts. 
So the price per 1 kg we have been told is 520 and therefore 18.75 kilograms will be equal to what? Cross multiply. When you cross multiply it becomes 18.75 kg times 520 over 1 kg. Simplify kg and kg disappears. So it is 18.75 times 520 to get 9750 9750 remember we have been told what was the price of each portion so the portions were 25 and the total cost of those 25 portions since they were representing the 18.75 kilograms then they will be the amount of the 25 portions was 9750 therefore if 25 portions were equal to 9750 shillings then one portion would be cross multiply so you get um 950 9750 times one portion over divide divide by 25 portions divide by 25 portions then you simplify portions and portions disappear so what will remain with is the money so by 5 by 25 1 by 25 3 9 0 so the correct answer was 390 shillings thank you question number uh, number 6 Mwende and tell us are pineapple vendors. Mwende sliced her pineapples into eight and sold 56 pieces. Teras sliced his pineapples into six and sold 54 pieces. Determine who sold more wool pineapples. So three marks. All right. So skills here, basic multiplication of fractions by all numbers and simplifying fractions. So let us find out the pineapples sold by Mwende and Taras. So Mwende, Mwende sold one, we have been told is eight. So one over eight times 56 pieces times 56. We simplify by eight, one by 8 56 by 8 is 7 so this one sold 7 pineapples then we go to taras taras sold 1 over we have been told this we have been told is 6 1 over 6 times the pieces sold which were 54 to see how many holes are there so by 6 1 by 6 this one gives me 9 so this one sold nine pineapples question Stanley who sold more yes the correct answer should be Terras because he sold nine pineapples well when they sold seven pineapples question seven a teacher had 40 pencils she gave white pencils to the learners in her class she then bought nine more pencils write an expression to represent the number of pencils the teacher remained with skills here is algebra forming simple algebraic expressions so the total here was 40 pencils so you write 40 uh, giving out is taken away so take away y then you buy more about how many nine more uh, pencils so you add nine there so it becomes 40 my plus you like them together 40 plus 9 then you minus y so 40 plus 9 work out there 40 plus 9 yes yes 40 plus 9 is 49 
then you minus y. So the correct answer, let's go to the question. Remain to which? So remain to the 49 minus y. Thank you. Let's meet in our second part.